Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got a kind of just an overview of a knife that we've already looked at. This is just a variant that I think is interesting. This is the uh, CJRB Centros except we have uh, contoured micarta scales on this guy instead of the blocky G10 scales. Um, I gave a very positive review to the CJRB Centros. It's one of the better budget knives um, that I've seen. Um, CJRB uh, likes to make knives in you know in D2 and G10 and they generally price them around the $35 to $40 mark, which is great. Um, they've got some other knives in their line that they've added micarta to, and sometimes different steels, they jump up to about the $50 to $55 mark, which is where this guy is, is hovering. And I'll just tell you guys right now, it's it's great. Everything that I said about the CJRB uh, Centros in my previous review, previous review, which you can find in my Cheap Knives I Like playlist and my uh, Recommended Knives playlist, um, it's going to stand up here. It's And in this case, if you like micarta, it's definitely worth spending a little bit of extra money to get not only micarta, but contoured micarta. I'll, be, uh, I'll, I'll point out here that the, um, the G10 scales on the standard one are very blocky. And it was something I you know said in the video that it would be nice if they were contoured. And uh, yeah, this is what they did here. And that's great. It makes a, a knife that was already great that much more great. I think it's worth spending the extra money to pick this up. I'll be uh, linking this guy and the uh, or original CGRB um, Centros down in the description along with CGRB knives in general so you guys can shop, pick those up. Um, normally what I do on reviews is I you know, do the measurements, I do the, you know, the, the size comparisons, and I talk about carrier profile. If you want all that, you can check out the original review. I'm not going to be doing that today, just going to kind of be moving along really quickly. This knife was sent to me by at Ohio Knife Lover on Instagram, and he's also got a YouTube channel. So give him a follow and go check out his YouTube channel. It's because of people like him that I'm able to bring you guys daily knife content. It's also because of my generous patrons. Thanks so much for supporting me right now. If you'd like to get your hands on some cool stickers and some other exclusive benefits, there is, of course, a link right down in the description. You're supporting me in the world to me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right. So... Uh, just to do a recap from the other um, review, this is a uh, pretty long knife. Um, not going to be little, uh, not going to be, you know, like to compare it. I guess I've got the CJRB Rhea right here. This is more of a, you know, a normal small EDC size knife. This one's a lot bigger. Of course, some people do EDC uh, larger knives. It depends on whether or not it's legal in your area. So make sure that you know um, whether or not you can carry this. I'll go ahead and do at least the measurement and the blade length so you guys can see. This knife comes in at about 8 points. Not huge, 8.3 inches overall, 3.6 inches on the blade, and 3.5 inches on the cutting edge. Um, this knife is using a uh, tumbled D2. This is a Dylan Mallory design, by the way. Dylan Mallory is an excellent person. He's got some awesome designs through CJRB. Uh, he's really nice to talk to. You can check him out on Instagram to see some of his other work. Um, but uh, yeah, using D2, that's great. Honestly, kind of like with the CGRB Rhea, how they've got the G10 one and then they've got the Micarta one, which comes in their new uh, AR-RPM9 uh, powder form steel. Um, that's the case with the Micarta version of the uh, Rhea. I would have really liked to see that new proprietary steel on this guy because honestly, it sounds like a pretty darn good steel. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a good composition for a budget knife, absolutely. It would have been nice to see that. We don't get that, that's okay. Um, fit and finish on this guy, excellent. That's the case with CJRB. We are using a, we are, we've got a T8 pivot and uh, some T6 body screws. I don't like T6, but okay, it's there. It's not a reason to not pick the knife up. Pocket clip. This is CJRB's older pocket clip. Um, I'm thinking they probably already know this, but the pocket clip on the Rhea is superior in multiple ways. Number one, it doesn't have this odd swoop and straight bill thing. It's got, it's got it doesn't have the, uh, this has the dip. This one's more of a swoop, which is better. It doesn't fight your pants as much. It's going to be um, easier to get in and out of different types of pants. It also has recessed screws, which is definitely preferable over these raised screws. It's just, this is better. Uh, maybe just a, a larger version of this pocket. I mean, even this pocket clip on this knife would be just fine. Um, I imagine, you know, maybe, I, I don't know. I don't know why they didn't use this. I'm wondering... Well, this this one isn't going to work because it's not cut into these. This area right here is raised, right? It would have been nice to see, uh, you know, this this clip on on this guy. That's that's all I'm saying. This clip will work. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, we have some sort of brass colored uh, um, standoffs back here. That's fine. They could have also done silver. They they opted not to. That's okay. 
the uh, deployment is fantastic. The action is great. This knife runs on bearings. Um, centering on this guy, it's just about perfect. Yeah, and then lockup is also great. You can see there the liner lock is engaging at something like 45%. Absolutely solid, easy to disengage, no issues there. This knife is substantially more comfortable than the G10 version. It is nowhere near as blocky. The micarta looks and feels nice, but it's mainly the contouring that um, makes me like this more. Um, the Because it's contoured, these edges don't feel nearly as blocky or aggressive, and it still fills the hand out in a way that is just preferable. This is definitely a knife that I would have no problem taking out and using, but I mean, if it came, if I had, if my task for the day was breaking down cardboard boxes in the garage for 45 minutes, would I reach for this guy or the G10 one? Both will do fine, but I'm going to reach for this guy every time because of those contoured scales. Absolutely. Uh, it's the same uh, deal on the uh, G10 version, so I'm wiping off fingerprints. Uh, the tumbling that CJRB does is great. No sharp edges up here. Very fine tip. Uh, be careful with that. It actually looks like it might have been... Bent is a, no, maybe that's just part of the grind, right? Maybe it's just not perfectly symmetrical, which isn't that big of a deal on this tier of knife, you know, no big deal. It does come down to a nice thin edge. So this is gonna be, uh, you know, definitely a performance blade. Um, if you don't like the long slender look, this might not be for you. You know, I know a lot of people had mentioned just the exact same knife, but smaller, uh, more, maybe just a little bit bigger. And the Rhea, you know, something that's maybe just like right here. That would have been cool. There's lots of room on the handle. Either way, I kind of like this large version, honestly. I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with how this is. Very easy to engage the thumb studs. You can also do the reverse flick pretty easily. No issues there. Um, yeah, this is great. Some people are going to have an issue with the overall thickness, maybe the overall length. But, you know, for your money, say if this comes in between 50 and 55 bucks, or maybe I'm a little bit off. But either way, I mean, this is a great... It's a great knife to pick up. This this video wasn't meant to be anything super long. This is the same CJRB Centros. It's a little bit more expensive. You're getting micarta, but more importantly, you're getting contoured micarta. Um, to make this knife absolutely perfect, I think, uh, I mean, truthfully, if these changes were made on this knife, it would probably win like overall best budget knife in existence. Um, if the screws were T8, uh, if the steel was the new proprietary stuff, for, and some people prefer D2 over, you know, basically what the composition, you, you can watch my video of the CGRB Rhea if you want to find out, you know, all, everything about that steel. Um, but uh, if they have their new proprietary steel on this, um, T8 screws, and they had the Rhea pocket clip, this would be basically a perfect knife. Um, but even lacking those things, this is still like 95%. If you if you like picking up knives in this price range and you've experienced CJRB's quality, or even if you haven't, right? I mean, if this is your, you know, the perimeter where you're comfortable, you know, spending money on knives, this is a great one to pick up. In fact, a lot of people will tell you it's one of the knives to pick up in this price range. It, it definitely is. It's one of the best budget knives that are out there. And uh, the contoured micarta is very very welcome. I, um, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with this. Like I said, if you want m a more detailed review on the CJRB Centros, uh, check out my original review. It's something like 20 minutes long, and I go into detail about every last little teeny tiny element. If you're, if you're new to my channel, that's usually what I do, is I get really, really uh, you know in-depth and technical about stuff like that. But yeah, this is a great variant. There's not really much to complain about here. Um, thanks again to uh, Ohio Knife Lover for sending this guy to me. Make sure and check out his Instagram and YouTube. Be sure to follow me on Instagram as well. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like if you'd like to check out my other content. I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.